Hello everybody. So we did demonstrate uh, how you could talk, a fragment could talk to an activity by implementing an interface. So basically here is the home fragment. The, this is the interface definition and this is the on attach that will grab the listener and uh, the activity is implementing uh, the two methods that are inside the interface. One of them actually uh, is go to settings and it goes to the settings screen so when I click here it uh, replaces the uh, home fragment with the settings fragment and puts the home fragment on the back stack. Now what if the settings fragment wants to go back? So basically maybe you can rely on the user going back like this or what if the settings fragment has a button for example so you go to the settings fragment like this and inside the settings fragment it has a button and when you click the button you would like to uh, go back. So let's delete the text view, change this into a constraint layout. Now I have the button and all I'm going to do is just say go back. Right? So that's what I'm going to uh, when you click the button it will just say go back. Okay, so here's the button. Um, attributes. Now the button is called button back. Okay, good. So now go back to the settings fragment. Where is the settings fragment code? Okay, there it is. And basically we are here. I can set up the binding if I need to. So now to set up the binding is straightforward. You know, all I need to do to set up the binding is uh, let me delete all of that. We're not passing it any data. So all of that stuff will come back to this later. All right, we're not passing it any data. There it is. So the settings fragment, I'm going to go back. So the binding, just a quick review. So the binding, the name of the layout is fragment settings. So it's going to be fragment settings binding. Fragment settings binding, binding, here it is. And then when you inflate, we're not going to do it like this. We're going to say binding equals fragment setting binding dot inflate inflator uh, container false. And then basically return binding dot get root. Right? Okay, so that's what we are returning. We delete this line. We're good here. So now we have the binding done. Now let's set up the handler for the button. So the binding dot button back dot set on click listener new on click. So there it is. So now we want to go back, meaning we want to uh, use the back stack. So the, the home activity is now on the back stack. The settings activity is being displayed. You technically want to pop the back stack. So in order to do that, I will talk to the main activity. So again, this I will let the main activity orchestrate the navigation between these fragments. Okay. So I'll create an interface. Let's say public interface settings listener. There it is. And basically, avoid go go back to uh, what do you call it home. And then basically we'll do the implementation of the on attach. Okay, so here is this mlistener on attach mlistener equals this context. All right, so now we have it. Now basically all what we're going to do is going to say mlistener to go to go back to home fragment. Okay, when you click the button, the main activity will implement. So basically comma implements also the uh, settings listener all right and the setting listener is only one method here we are and basically all what we're going to do is pop the backstack get support fragment manager dot pop backstack okay now when we run this here we are here's the app you click on settings you are here you click on go back it shows the home flag settings Go back just to even show you i'll enter something here and say hi okay now when i click on settings okay it puts the the home fragment on the back stack it just it's as if it's putting it in a freezer and then when you click on back it takes it out of the back stack it pops it out of the back stack and as if taking it out of the freezer and you see here the state is still maintained all right so now this is how you manage the back stack you are uh, you can add as many uh, fragments to the back stack as you go back, now it will 
it will close but if in the settings so here is if you are in the settings so here is settings and you click back it goes back or settings you click on go back it goes back all right so please let us know if you have any questions